Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley, episode number 19. Never nothing great on TV. Let's just pump up the jams a little bit then. No. Really need to call Johan and see if he can get this thing fixed and running. <laughs> Anyways guys, welcome back. Um, I've done a few things and been a little busy getting some stuff done. It is a brand new day. I have pretty much the farm taken care of. You can see that um, it is actually about to be summer. And I have been working on getting more things done. You get back inside. And I have been actually working on trying to get more chickens. And I think today I'm going to work a little bit more on that as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking most of these medium ones. And... Yeah, we're going to sell the medium-sized ones, and I'm probably going to need to get a few other things as well, but let's go ahead and toss these away and head into town today. I want to talk to someone and see if they can actually help us get some stuff made. All right, so come on, Epona. We have some work to do, man, and the town is indeed coming together. I am really liking how it's coming together so much. Um, just a little bit of the deco craft that we're using, and it's just, it's really looking nice. I like it a lot. So our blacksmith friend, are you open today? Please tell me you're open today. Yes, indeed, you are. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't have any other tools. Um, I need to buy 27 of these blast bricks. <laughs> Oh man, that is going to be a little bit of a pain. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's do this. Should go into that one spot. So let's buy ourselves our blast bricks. We're going to need 27. There we go. Thanks, Dineru. Much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. So yeah, the town is definitely really coming, and oh my gosh, the kids are kind of playing around it, it looks like. There's like two kids hanging around it already. They're like looking at it, they don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> They're like, can we even use these? No. No, you cannot. They're only for looks, don't touch. I've also added a few little things to the house. You can see I actually put the windows in, we got some shutters, we got the buttons for some like, bolts, or uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But I think it's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, these need to go away, too. You guys have probably been bugging me about that, haven't you? <laughs> I know, you guys have been pretty awesome to me lately. Um, but, yeah, anyways, I thank you guys so much for enjoying the series still. I'm having a lot of fun. It's just kind of gotten to that point where it's a little slow at the moment. Mainly because, you know, we need money to actually do things. So, yeah, actually, let's go this way. Wait, is this my fortune? Yeah, it is. We need to be using this one. So we sent this one back in the wall. Or the other one back in the wall all the way. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to set up our blast furnace. Now, this, obviously, this is the only thing we're going to be doing today. But it is something that does need to get done. And here we go. We can afford it now. Now, there's a lot of other stuff we actually need to buy and start saving our money up for. But there's... There's the thing. You gotta spend money to make money. And that's what we're doing. That is the plan. Now, we got that in there. We're gonna need to grab some iron. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, which most of you guys probably are, but in case you're not, um, you're gonna need some iron, and you're gonna also want some cold coke. So I actually have some more cold coke up and running currently. And it's also making us up some more creosote. Um, we can actually have that send over into this guy as well a little bit later. But we're gonna start with 32 pieces of of iron. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a torch down so nothing happens down here. I've expanded the basement a little bit, if you can tell, our cellar and all of that goodness. And just let that work for a little while. Alright, so unfortunately we're, we're going to make some upgrades um, for that up there. Our drawer. Um, Alright, so that's taken care of. Um, now the next thing I want to do is if hopefully we can make it back to town real quick. And I'm hoping we can. I need to talk to, I believe it is Ashley today. We need to talk to Miss Ashley. And we might even try to keep giving Liara some more presents. Let's see. Monday, hello, are you open? No, you're not. Darn it. 
Monday to the Saturday. Oh, you close at 11. Son of a biscuit. I should have came there first. Man, it's so hard to keep up with you guys' times. You guys should really do something about the times and everything. My gosh. All right, so I'm going to come over because I think I already gave Liara all the chocolate. So we're going to talk to Jenny. And we're going to get a little bit more chocolate. Just grab a little bit, not too much. Um, let's also take a look here. So we're probably going to want some... We could do the MV. You know, might as well do MV. It's the same price as the LV. Um, so I'm just going to grab a couple of these. Now, on this one, I don't think we have relays. I'll have to look. I'll double check. But let's just grab a couple of those. And we'll grab a couple of those. We're probably going to need those as well as a copper coil block so let's grab one of those as well while we're here and oh we can we can get that you know what I might actually do that yeah let's buy one of those while we're here too we're just gonna go shopping away today we're just gonna have a, a wonderful shopping day so let's go talk to our friend Liara and let's give her some chocolate let's make her feel welcome in town here you are Liara Thank you so much. This will be remembered forever. That's what you always say. <laughs> I've noticed that this is not actually going up like hardly at all, if any. Vegetable juice. Do I have vegetable juice? I don't remember if I have vegetable juice. I need to come and visit her on like, I think Saturday? And I think there's one more thing we need to get, which is the blender. Those aren't really great recipes, but it's something else that you can actually do. So... It's, it's just, yeah. Ow. I'm just making sure they have food. They're good. And our cow is also, by the way, producing us some very awesome large milk, which is great. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and sleep here in a second. But let me actually check something. Relay. Oh, we do have relays. So I am going to have to craft some relays. Okay, good. I remember the times when we didn't need relays where I come from. Which is also another reason why I have been keeping some extra clay and not putting it all into one basket, which I meant by, obviously, our Deco Craft bench there. Um, let's go ahead and cook those up, and then we'll need to make some of these relays. We won't need too many. We, we just need a few things. And then we also want to make ourselves a, oops, dynamo. This is what we're going to need to actually create our starting power. Two, three, and then we're going to need two pieces of redstone. One, two, and let's craft up a kinetic dynamo. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. And then besides that, we're going to grab just a couple pieces of iron. And we'll make a few relays to kind of get us up and running. Actually, that's the wrong way. That goes like this. There we go. Alright, guys, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to grab a little bit of food myself. As I need to get some more, I can tell. Grab some sleep. We'll check out the farm for the last day of spring and see if we got anything to harvest. Actually, let's see if we got any money in. I don't know if I remember if I... Yeah, no, I didn't harvest anything last day. So, last day of spring, I'm going to check. We got strawberries. And the wheat is ready as well. Darn, I was kind of hoping we might be lucky enough to have one more harvest out of those. So I'm not going to worry about watering those. I'm going to harvest up everything, including the wheat. I'm also going to start setting up the farm for summer crops in probably the next episode, or next part of the episode. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. I am not going to worry about watering the farm today because, today, like I said, is the last day of spring. I took care of the animals and all that other good stuff. So let's head over. Let's see if we can get a hold of Ashley real quick before the day does its thing. So Monday to Saturday, and hello, Ashley. So we want to talk to Ashley. We want to see about getting ourselves... For one, I need some more chicken feed. Actually, no, I don't. I actually still have a stack, so I'm going to hold on to that. I'm actually going to get us another feeding train. Probably two more of these. And one more incubator. We're going to be going full-on chicken mode. Which is actually pretty good sounding, actually. I'm, I'm actually kind of uh, excited. I got some plans. I'm going to tell you guys about some of the things that I've found out. Um, as far as looking at the configs and everything and just normal stuff as well about what everything is. So we're going to make our daily stop to Liara and give her some more chocolate. Man, 
How long is this going to take? Does she not actually like chocolate? I thought she liked chocolate. I thought that was her favorite thing. Ooh, sushi. I'll buy that for a dollar. Heck yeah, buddy. Da -da -da -da. Heck yeah, we just learned how to make some sushi. I'm actually going to have to check that out and see. Um, let's see. Sushi. Sushi. Oh, that actually doesn't really do it. Oh, you probably needed to make those. Wait, hold on. That's from Aquaculture. Never mind. Sushi is amazing. Let's go see how to make sushi in the recipe book real quick. Sushi has, a, like, an insane amount of stuff. <laughs> Holy crap. So we got quite a bit on the agenda today. Hopefully we can get uh, a good portion of things done. Being how it's so close, we're doing good on, on resources at the moment, kind of-ish. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 sushi, sushi. This is why I was saying, like, we got plenty of chicken feed. I just forgot I put it in there. Um, let's pull out this recipe book real quick and see. See, there's a food mixer as well. We need to check that out. So I'm pretty sure you wouldn't make sushi in that. Sushi is going to be made on the countertop. So sushi is made with... Wait, this is what I need? Oh, we need the rice ball and sashimi. sashimi. <laughs> All righty. Um, I can't really make it. We have to buy rice balls. I don't think we... Can you make rice? Uh, yeah, actually, none of those food recipes actually show up. I already remember that, so I just need to remind myself not to worry about that. All right, let's take care of the chickens first. I'm going to show you guys some stuff, um, but first I got to do some preparations, and this is going to come a little bit later on, um, probably throughout our series here, um, but I'm going to add in another feed box here. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything is full. Um, and then we're also going to set up another incubator, which I'm probably going to end up moving this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and place another one down. So once this one's done, I'm going to put one right here. We're going to put another, move that one over there. And I've been putting these large eggs inside of them, hoping that uh, these chickens actually produce large eggs when they grow up. I'm not sure on that. Maybe I didn't read that right. I was kind of hoping I did. But let's go ahead and put those guys there. And very soon we're going to get to the point we're going to have to start expanding this chicken coop. All right, so we took care of that part of the chicken coop that I wanted to do today. Let's head down. Actually, we don't need to head down. Let's, um, let's go ahead and take a look at a windmill. Now, I'm going to make just the very basic windmill because I need more hemp in order to make the improved windmill, which is something I plan on doing. Um... But for now, we're going to need to make some of these windmill blades. So let's go ahead and close out. Actually, no. We're going to need to make a few more of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Nice stack right there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to grab some of these sticks. We're going to make probably a good half a stack. Let's lock that recipe in. And this should be able to pull them. That's very interesting that it does this, by the way. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. Very interesting. And all we need is four of those. I'm going to save that recipe, but I'm not going to save this next one. But we are going to need a piece of iron for this. And all we need to do from here is just do this. Put those back there. Iron. And we have ourselves a very basic windmill. Now, I would like to go back to town real quick because I need a couple things. And by a couple things, I think I only need one. And that would be a piece of lead from our blacksmith. So let's see if we can actually get back to town real quick. And this is the wonderful thing. This is why I also like the fact that we have this horse. Oh, man, it's so nice. It's so nice. All right. Dinero, are you open? Please tell me you are. Nice. All right. So we need some lead. But first things first, let's go ahead and type in um, capacitor. And I'm not going to try to do the LV. Let's try to do the MV. So we need electrum and lead. And he should sell both of them, right? Oh, he doesn't sell Electrum? Interesting. I thought he did. So I'm going to have to make Electrum. Which is fine. I'm going to buy two pieces of silver. We're going to buy one piece of lead for now. And that should be good to go. I almost wouldn't mind having a drawer controller or compacting drawer as well. But I'm going to... Try not spending my, oh my gosh, 13.37, four. Four Bentley. Ha <laughs> ha. 13.37. So elite. All right, so we got that. Um, Take a look at this. Electrum. All right, so I'm just going to have to, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. 
Maybe it would just be better to buy. We don't have the alloying thing, so I might just go ahead and do that and buy a few more pieces of that. I don't... Eh. What about the LV? LV's going to take two copper. We'll do an LV for now. Rip 1337. So I'm not sure. I didn't... I, I thought he sold Electrum, but I guess I was thinking something else. It was probably the bronze. But it's okay. We can figure out what to do about getting Electrum a little bit later on. Not needed right now. Or we can just go straight to HV. It doesn't really matter. Which I'll probably end up doing once we get a little bit more money in anyway. So let's go ahead and make this capacitor. And we're just going to make a very basic one. So we're going to need three iron, two planks, redstone. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, wait. We didn't grab the iron. I didn't grab the iron. Oh, my gosh. That does get annoying. <laughs> it's all good, though. So we got our very basic setup for power. Um, I'm going to grab probably some... I guess we're just going to have to go dark oak for now. I don't know if this is even going to be tall enough for what I want to do. Really. Uh, might need to chop down a couple of our dark oak trees. Um, but I do want to put this. This is going to be a windmill for the farm. Now, it's it's going to provide aesthetics. I'm going to probably do a little bit of a build on it. But for now, I just kind of want to set it up. Um, because I'm going to kind of get a nice little representation in my mind of what maybe a good windmill would look like for the farm. And I'm thinking about setting it up right back here. Um, so I'm going to have to clean up this area just a little bit, but I'm thinking like, um, kind of like here-ish. I think this would work out pretty well. We want it kind of close to the house because this is going to provide us power. This is going to give us the power that we want, so that way when we start using power, we'll have it. And the higher up, the better, but I don't want to make it too high because I feel like if it's too high, it's just going to look kind of weird, in my opinion, especially for a farm. So I'm just going to kind of do this. And another perfect reason why I'm, I'm doing this kind of here-like is for the fact... Actually, did that place the right way? I think so. Um, I'm going to try to jump into that water when I'm done. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to place down our windmill. Boop. Okay, please give me it back. <sighs> Wish me luck. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, knowing me, that would happen. All right, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to grab some ladders now. Because I'm just going to use that pole for the time being. Um, do I have ladders? <laughs> Seven. Okay, that's not going to be enough. We do have some, some wood, though. We're going to make some more ladders. Should be more than enough for us to get up there. And I'm probably going to need to... Oh my gosh, eat for one. And it's about time to sleep. Let's just try to get this thing done real quick before it gets too dark. Oh my gosh. The days, they go so fast. Alright, so we're going to try to get up from like here. Alright, let's see if that works. That seems to be working. There we go, and it's spinning. Beautiful. And then we'll place a ladder on the back part of it, uh, which I may end up building the windmill around this anyway, but there you go. Very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night, and um, I'm going to work on the farm a little bit, kind of get things a little bit set up, and then we'll probably jump back to the general store and take a look and see what we're going to be doing for summertime. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. Day two of summer because they were closed on Wednesday. <laughs> I just finished giving Liara another piece of chocolate and she handed me a hot chocolate recipe. Achievement get. Very nice. All right, so I think it was nine of each crop. So let's go ahead and see what we got for summertime. And uh, we're going to be doing some industrial hemp soon as well. Um, wheat we are not going to worry about too much. Grass wouldn't be a bad idea either. Um, just because we are getting to the point where we're needing fodder and stuff like that anyway. But we got tomatoes and corn, which are my two favorites. So let's start off with some tomatoes. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go sell some of my eggs, I think. Yeah, we're going to go kind of, I forgot how much these are. 
All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do 18 of those. And can, can I get a discount, Jenny? That'd be wonderful. That, that that would that would just be great. Let's do that. <laughs> and maybe like actually let's do like um like nine more tomatoes. I like tomatoes. Tomatoes do a really good job. Corn almost takes like half the whole thing, and I think tomatoes might be a little bit better. So let's do like what, twenty-seven? Yeah, all right, so let's see what kind of uh, damage this is going to do to our, our newly largened farm. Now, the wonderful thing is is that we're going to make some bank off this once these things are grown. Now, what I did was I had already tilled up my, my uh, farm, and what I did was I watered it. Now, I watered a portion of it. As you can see, I did a little bit over here, but I didn't water that because I wanted to see if it would keep and if you do water it it does keep so it does make a little little sense there so let's go ahead and plant up our tomatoes see how far we can get with these try not to mess any of these up because we are low on the monies we have to be a good farmer here a very good efficient farmer and I think we're doing a pretty good job let's see so we're gonna have three rows of tomatoes and maybe more because I'm probably gonna harvest up those uh, wheat seeds here because they are done you guys have probably noticed that already but I've been holding out because I didn't want to have to retill the ground that's the basic main reason so here we go on the corn and I'm guessing now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another set of crops here and then I'm probably going to small crop because it kind of finishes before we get to there. Um, I'm probably going to make this our industrial hemp farm. It's going to take a little while, but I probably should get to it a little bit sooner. But like I said, just the way the money's kind of played out on us, this is kind of how I've had to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few things, fix up the farm, uh, get it all watered and everything. And we'll be back in just a minute to work a little bit more on our windmill before we wrap it up for the day. All right, guys, and we're back. So, taking care of our farm, and uh, I've actually went ahead and <laughs> went back to Jenny and uh, grabbed us a couple more crops, which is why we're so broke at the moment. Um, but basically, we got everything nice and full. We got to make like four rows of tomatoes. Yeah, four rows of tomatoes, three rows of corn, and then we'll have a small row of basically just some industrial hemp. Uh, for us to get started on the summer. Whew. All right. So here's the deal. Our sheep is producing us medium-sized wool at the moment. Our cows are producing us a large size milk, which I think what I'm going to do for a little bit of extra money is I'm actually going to go ahead and sell all the milk that we have, except for actually, you know, we'll hold on to the small milk. And I don't think there's anything I can really do with the wool. So might as well just sell it so we can get a little extra money. So when you get low on money, this is another reason why I don't mind saving some things. Uh, mainly because, like, well, when you get low on money and you need it, sell it. So there we go. We're going to sell all that. We're going to let that do its thing. And while it does, let's work on this windmill. Let's get this windmill hooked up. Um, basically, we're going to set up a capacitor bank for this guy. But first things first, we're going to need to set up a ladder system so we can get up to the top and actually do this. Now, actually, probably not a good... Actually, you know what? It's fine. We'll do it on the back part. We'll do it on the back part. No big deal. We'll just run off the sides. I think we can actually run off the side of this as well. And there we go. Back to the top. All right, so we're going to grab a connector here. Let's get that. Oh, I needed to put that back. My gosh. It's all right. We'll live. And we should be able to make our way down to, say, for, like, maybe here? Indeed. Very nice. And for now, just so we can actually start getting ourselves a little bit of power into the system, I'm actually going to go ahead and place it down kind of like right, kind of like right here. And this should retain its power. Um, I think in this version, I think it, I think they always did, but yeah, blue is going to be your input, so I'm going to use my hammer to right-click that onto the blue, place our connector down, and 
connected up to our relay. And now, as you can see on the top part of the screen, we are producing a very little bit of power, but it's gonna be good to actually just kind of get us, you know, something going for now. And like I said, it's just a very basic windmill, and I would love to do a nice windmill build for this, but I'm just gonna need to kind of plan it out in my mind a little bit. I don't want it to be too huge. Um, I just want it to be kind of big enough. Um, now, obviously, if you want to do it in your world where you go crazy and all out and start, like, making your your windmill go, like, almost touching the sky, you know, that's all up to you. I like to do mine just a little bit more, like, realistic, I guess. You know what I mean? That's just kind of how I like to do stuff, so. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and use this upgrade, too, while we're at it. Let's see. What, do, what can we make it into? Probably for cobblestone. Might as well go ahead and use some diamonds. So we'll use some diamonds. Obviously, emerald, I think, is the best. And we are doing pretty good on emerald, but I think we can actually sell emeralds. I don't think they sell for much, but I'm pretty sure you can actually sell emeralds. Um, so if you're needing money as well, you can't sell diamonds, unfortunately, but you can sell emeralds. So there we go. Upgraded on that. And now we can actually start putting in the remainder of our cobblestone where it's supposed to go. Very good. Very good. So I'm going to see something real quick, too. So we got the ability to make hot chocolate. Now, what do I need to make hot chocolate? Let's go back. Um, do we need the blender? No. 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 Where's it at, then? I unlocked it. Oh, there it is. It's in the pot. Why didn't the pot show up? That's a weird hot chocolate. So you just need milk and... Chocolate now restores very little. <laughs> well, we might need it for a better recipe at some point in the future. So I went ahead and decided to keep the wheat. Um, what I'm going to do is, because we have Nature installed, and I believe in one of the past versions or the previous version of uh, Farming Valley before it updated and I started the series, was the ability to use an uncrafter with barley, wheat, and stuff like that to produce a large sum of money depending on how big of your setup was. Now, obviously, we can make bread pretty simply by doing this. Wonderful. Um, but there's a better way. Nature installed, all you gotta do is wheat flour. And every one piece of wheat will now produce you one, two, three, four, one bread. So you can actually maximize your yield, and I'm also going to be using it for food. Uh, mainly because I am kind of running out of food types and other things like that. But it's very nice that we got a lot of things kind of set up now, and I'm actually very proud of this. Um, there's a few things I need to take to the blacksmith and get him, like, repaired and everything like that. And upgraded would probably be good for the hoe next. So I think that's what we're going to be working on. But let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we got. See, it's going really slow. Obviously, it is going to go slow, but just take a look at it from back here real quick. Once we get the build done for the windmill, that's going to look pretty nice. Just having that little bit of movement in the farm, oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I love it. So, I got a few more things I want to do on the town and other stuff like that, but we're going to be getting to that here in the future. Um, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of plans here and there for a few things um, that are coming up, I hope. And wow, look at that. 32 steel, 32 slag. Super nice. So now we're ready to do some things with steel, if at all possible. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got in steel wise. We got a lot of things from Railcraft we can actually get into. Should a farmer have a gun? <laughs> uh, we could totally make a revolver. So here's the other thing. We're going to need steel in order to make a water wheel, which a water wheel is also another thing that I plan on getting into at some point. It's going to. Pretty decent source of power, and I'd like to set that up, but I'll show you guys where and what I'm going to do with that in a bit later on down the road. Um, and then we also got some stuff from Railcraft. We have the steel tools, obviously, the armor, which is good. Um, you make a steel anvil. Oops, lost my spot. <laughs> steel drill head, that's just way too expensive in my opinion. It's great, but I'd rather save $50,000 just to go buy the Matic. Um, but yeah. Pretty good. I think that'll work. We got some steel now. We can use it for stuff. I'm not sure what, but uh, we'll figure it out. But there we go. All right. Good stuff. 
I think that's going to do it for today, though, guys. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let's me know, guys, you're still enjoying the series. And hopefully, we'll be making a lot of money from our crops. And hopefully soon, I'll even be able to show you guys that we're going to be making a lot more money from these little guys as well. Because these things, by the way, I didn't mention, are $500 or 500 gold a pop. And I believe it goes the same with large milk as well. But... We'll have to get that a little bit later as well. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys would, hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more from me and all that great stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, haven't done it yet, that way you guys are notified when I do post a new channel or new video to my channel or a new channel to my video. You know, one of those two is always wonderful. <laughs> Check out the description for some awesome links down below to Twitter, to my Twitch, where I live stream practically every night but Sunday. So I should be live streaming tonight. Some more Ultimate Down coming. Hopefully we'll see you guys there. A lot of new people showing up and all that great stuff. And uh, link down to my Patreon, which I'll be playing on my Patreon server this Saturday. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. If not, we'll see you guys soonish. Until then, goodbye.